This video is an introduction to the updated interface for D2L, the learning management system at Greenville University. Users will see this update beginning on Saturday, July 8, 2017. You can see from this side-by-side -side comparison that the daylight interface is cleaner and structured to have a more mobile-friendly appearance. The clutter is gone from the top banner and the images used are more striking. The order of the homepage has been altered slightly to remove some repetition and to give prominent placement to the most frequently used and needed items. The remainder of the slideshow will go through the changes in greater detail. This shows a specific course homepage, again in a side-by-side -side view. You can see some sections were removed because they can be accessed in other areas. I'll cover those details on the next slides. Overall, you can see again that this is a cleaner, more open layout. The updates widget was removed because the My Courses widget has now absorbed that functionality. You can see the orange arrow pointing to the number two under the Introduction to Oz course. That indicates that there are two unread discussion posts, which is what the updates widget was used to notify students for. So again, this is on the My Courses widget on your My Home page. Another widget that was removed from the course homepage was bookmarks. This is because bookmarks can be found in the content widget on the course homepage and in the content browser view. Users determine bookmarks and they only show for the user who bookmarked an item. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of the course search from the old interface to the new one. Course search, or the drop-down that was in the top light gray bar, is now a waffle icon in the banner. Clicking on the waffle will show you all of the courses you've been enrolled in with the pinned courses at the top. If you have a large number of courses, you'll see a search bar at the top of this pop-up. Alternatively, you can click on the View All Courses link in the My Courses widget on the homepage. That will take you to all your courses and offer a search bar feature. This slide shows the transition from the banner and nav bar in the old interface to the banner and nav bar in the new. Many of the links that used to be at the top level of the old interface are now in menus in the new interface, so the arrows on the slide indicate the transitions that have been made. The links are all still available on the nav bar, but they have been moved or collapsed into cascading menus to eliminate the cluttered look of the banner and nav bar. The My Home link is now just a house icon. The course search is a waffle icon I explained in the previous slide. The icons on the very top right are still present in the banner and have been enlarged. The row of links that were across the top of the dark gray banner have been absorbed into the nav bar under the word bright space. The course title is now a live link that will take you back to course home and the Greenville University logo is no longer a live link. These are the menus users will see in their courses. You can also see these menus when you're on my home but some links will not be visible if they don't apply. For example, grades is only visible when a user is in a specific course. Finally, this is the visual guide to using the new interface on smaller screens. Responsive design allows the screen to collapse and be easily navigated on a tablet or phone by collapsing the menu options under a three bar icon in the top left. When you click it, you'll see all the links that have disappeared as your screen shrank. So you can see the display on this slide has a full screen, as you would see on a laptop, and then it transitions down to a smaller tablet size, and you see the three bar menu is circled in orange, and then the smallest is to simulate a cell phone screen, again with the three bar menu. On the right side of the screen, you can see the tools and options that you have when you click on that to expand it in your screen. Thank you for viewing this update video. We think you'll enjoy working with the learning management system now that its design has this sleek and responsive layout. Another video showing a short demonstration of interaction with the new interface has also been posted to the Campus Services Solutions page under the Center for Teaching and Learning and Students D2L Learning Management System.